This is Kenya. Within three months after China opened its market to the East African country, a handful of Kenyan exporters sold up to six to four million dollars worth of avocado. Where there is avocado, there is money, plenty of money. It has been termed the new gold or the green gold as some call it. In this video, I'm going to tell you why it's very important for you to do the avocado business in Africa. I'm also going to prove to you that the avocado business is more lucrative than the oil business. But then, if the avocado business is more lucrative than the oil business, why hasn't it taken off in Africa? I'm also going to show you why it hasn't taken off in Africa and I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the situation and make millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars. Welcome to Africa Today. This is Asongo Luis and we are starting right now. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization, the production of avocado has more than doubled over the past decade, making billions of dollars in revenue. Now, this is a clear indication that thousands of people are making millions of dollars behind the avocado business. Now, fortunately for Africa, Africa has more than 60% of the world's uncultivated arable land. Africa's land size is larger than China, India, the US, and most parts of Europe combined. The African tropical climate presents one of the best conditions for this new green gold to thrive. Now, another reason why you should do avocado farming in Africa is Africa has one of the fastest growing populations in the world. And as I always say, it is not only population that matters. What actually matters is the buying power of the population, which is actually the middle class. Fortunately, Africa now has the fastest growing middle class in the world. Now, I'm not making all these things up. This is according to the African Development Bank and UYH International. Still not convinced on why you should do avocado farming in Africa? In most African countries, avocado has a very high yield of 25 tons per hectare. Now, another reason why you should do avocado farming in Africa is due to the demand. That's why the price of avocado has increased more than 200% in most African countries and up to 500% in other countries. I remember when I was in secondary school about 15 years back, I used to buy a kilogram of avocado for about $0.1. Now today, a kilogram of avocado in Africa is about $1.42. That is more than 1,000% increase. Now, when you export avocado out of Africa, you make up to three times the amount of money that you make in Africa. Now, that is if you want to take all the, the traveling and the shipping and all those things into consideration. Now, this increase in demand has come about due to the impact of the social media, which has helped to propagate the health benefits of avocado. Now, avocado has several health benefits. It boosts the immune system. It helps the function of the brain. It helps with the function of the liver. It helps to detoxify the body. It helps to, in fact, this is just a few among the very long list of advantages that the avocado plant is delivering. In addition to the good climate and high demand, another reason that you should do avocado farming in Africa is that labor is very affordable. Not to talk about land. Farmland in Africa is very, very cheap. It actually starts about $40 a hectare up to about $800 a hectare, which is still cheap if you consider the amount of money you are going to make from avocado farm as we are going to see in the next part of the video. So how profitable is the avocado business in Africa? The average cost of planting an avocado plant globally is about $40 per tree. Because of the advantages Africa has, the affordable labor, the cheap land, and many other things, one tree will cost you $20. So let's do some rough calculation here. In one hectare of land, you need about 250 trees. Now, 250 trees multiplied by $20, that will give you about $7,500. So you actually need $7,500 in Africa to start up an avocado farm of one hectare. Now pay attention and see how much we are going to gain by the end of this video. One tree produces about 95 kilograms of avocado. Now let's just remove 5 kilograms and say you are going to lose something. And let's just say one tree will produce you 90 kilograms of avocado. Let's consider 90 kilograms of avocado. Now consider that you have 250 trees within a hectare. It means you are going to multiply 90 kilograms by 250 to have 22,500 kilograms. Now, if you take this month, 22,500 kilograms, you multiply by the price of one kilogram of avocado, which is $1.42. I want to have $31,950 per hectare. Now, this is the money that you make in one season. Now, let us remove your initial expenditure, which is $7,500. If you take away $7,500, which was our initial investment, we are going to have $24,450. Now, if you take this amount and multiply by three, I'm saying multiply by three because if you export this same product to places like the US, Europe, and China, you are going to make three times the amount. We are going to have $73,350. 
that is per hectare per season you also also consider the fact that you can also have 10 hectares 20 hectares now let's just zero down to 10 hectares so when you multiply this by 10 you are going to have seven hundred thirty-three thousand five hundred dollars now this is the money i want to make from 10 hectares in one season alone but we have been saying very good things about this business but why has this business not taken off in africa after doing my research the first reason i saw actually shook me and it was just that people don't have the basic knowledge about avocado cultivation now avocado cultivation is something that is very simple to do but tricky if you don't know it this is not rocket science it's something that is very simple now if you have ever eaten an avocado a very good avocado i mean that type that actually melts in your mouth i'm not talking about the watery type because to be honest you have the watery type and you have the type that people call in africa we call it butter when they say that an avocado is buttery it means that, that avocado is wonderful when people eat this buttery avocado they would like to like they want to plant that avocado so that they have that same experience when they harvest it from the seed but the problem is if you want to do avocado commercially you don't plant the seed planting the seed is a very first error because when you plant the seed of avocado it's going to take 15 years for that to grow and probably that's one of the main reasons why people were discouraged to actually do avocado because they were planting it the wrong way people were discouraged people didn't want to do avocado farming because they were doing planting the wrong way I told you at the beginning of this video that I'm going to tell you exactly how to get out of it, how to make money from avocado, how to make millions of dollars from avocado. Now, the right way to do avocado is grafting. It's true grafting. You take a stem of a mature avocado plant, you join it with the other one, and then you allow it to grow. Some people will just take an avocado seed and throw it inside a hole and expect the fruit to come out, boom, and then expect to eat the fruit after some few years. That's not going to work. If you do avocado grafting correctly, you are going to harvest a fruit after four years. After just four years. Now compare four years and 15 years. Now 15 years, the other method is the method that our parents usually do. And nobody was actually encouraged doing avocado. You cannot do an investment that you are expecting to, to, to benefit from after 15 years. And you are actually counting on that thing. It cannot work. I said not every avocado have a good taste in the mouth no not that it has a bad taste but the some are far more tastier than others and for those who know avocado they actually you actually describe the good taste of avocado in the mouth to be something like poultry it has a poultry taste and most people when they taste this type of avocado they would like to like i want to have this avocado in my farm so i you think that if you take the seed of avocado and you plant it's going to give you that same taste it's not going to give you that same taste it's, if you give it to that same taste, it's just going to be luck. But then the best way to still do it, we'll go back to the system I talked about, grafting. If you do grafting, you're going to have the same taste. That is, if you take a seed, of, that is, if you take an avocado fruit and eat, and you feel it's very nice, and you want to replicate that same fruit in your farm. <laughs> if you plant the seed, you're not going to have the same fruit. You're going to have something else. It might be watery in your mouth when you harvest. So the best way to have the same plant is by doing the method of grafting. Now, before I give the last tip, I want us to go to the polls in our community tab. Now, for those of you who don't know, actually, we have been updating our community tab on a daily basis, putting polls and also posts. Now, not actually every day anyway, but somehow we skip some days. Today's poll is actually on which African country has the most powerful military. Now, we have four countries, Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt and Ethiopia. Now, some of you actually think the answer is Ethiopia, which you won't be totally wrong because Ethiopia is actually the only African country that defeated a colonial power in war and was not colonized. So it's not totally wrong. And uh, the comments, there is a comment there that actually says Ethiopia, Nota 275. My dear friend Nota 25, I've been seeing your comments. You said Ethiopia and you made love. No, somehow it's very correct. Ethiopia was not colonized and so many African countries actually look up to Ethiopia because it's like the source of inspiration. Ethiopia has the fifth strongest military in Africa, yet it doesn't come close to South Africa which has the third most powerful military in Africa. Now, according to the Global Firepower Report, these militaries are ranked according to their budget, their military equipment, their military personnel and also their geopolitical influence. Now, Egypt comes first in all these rankings in Africa and is the 12th in the world when it comes to the most powerful military in the world. Now, in the comment section, my dear friend, the glorious kingdom of Italy, he says, it is Egypt. From what I know, their military is as strong as the Italian army too. 
that's true the Italian army is as strong as the Egyptian army there's one funny comment that I, I read I want to read it for everybody to, to get it it is Mzek it's Mzek at Mzek he said please leave out Nigeria 15% of all the voters by the time I took this poll voted for Nigeria so Mzek said please leave out Nigeria I'm sure he's a Nigerian you know Nigerians know, know their country more than any other person I'm very sure he's a Nigerian he said please leave out Nigeria Nigeria has large troop numbers of 200,000 but are unable to fight 2,000 I want to call the name please I'll be sanctioned by YouTube if I call the name so I'll just put it on screen you, you are going to identify the group of people we, that he's talking about that's just paper ranking that's what my friend said from Nigeria so that's it for the poll over to the next tip if you're doing avocado farming and you want to make millions from it another good practice that you need to do is actually to keep weeds away from your farm now most people see the thing it is just a tree you can just plant that tree and you walk away after all we always see trees bearing fruits inside bushes and all that and they still perform very well no if you have an avocado farm what you need to watch out for is weeds. You don't want to see weeds in your farm because what the weeds bring, the weeds bring in pests. That pest feeds on the leaves of your avocado plants. And when they feed on the leaves of the avocado plants, the avocado plants will not still be able to carry out photosynthesis. And if the avocado plants can't carry out photosynthesis, they won't be able to bear fruits, which is your avocado. And you're not going to make the millions we're talking about. So be careful of wheat and the way you plant your avocado. Another good tip that you need to take note of if you want to start up an avocado farm is to have a beehive. It's good to install beehives around your farm. Now, these are things that our parents didn't do when they were doing avocado farms. And that's why they did not encourage us to carry out this practice, which is actually making people to become millionaires today. So you have to install beehives in your farm. So what, is that? what are the bees going to do? The bees are going to serve as a vector of doing cross-pollination because it's an artificial environment that you have created. You have created flowers in a place where there were no natural insects to do cross-pollination. So when you open up this kind of farm, you need to bring in bees that are going to do the cross-pollination for you. Another very good tip that you need to practice if you open up an avocado farm in Africa is the fact that you need to prune your avocado. You need to prune your avocado trees. You wouldn't like your avocado trees to grow very tall. Now, if some people would like my tree is growing very tall. I'm liking this thing. This thing is very nice. I'm fine. I have assets. I have very tall trees. That is not the point. If your trees are tall, it's going to make it difficult for you to climb up those trees and harvest those fruits. So it's very important if you can actually stand from the ground and harvest those fruits. It's going to reduce the work. It's going to reduce the work. It's going to reduce the time. It's going to reduce every kind of expenditure you can imagine during, har during harvesting period. So those are very important tips for you to actually start up an avocado farm and make millions of dollars. This is the time to plant. If you plant now, you are going to start harvesting in four years' time. In four years' time, the market will be far more lucrative. Now, I'm saying this from trends that we are seeing on the ground. In the past 20 years, the price of avocado has only been increasing and has been doubling in the past decade. So, so if you're in the diaspora, you can still start up this business in Africa. Now, this is one of the businesses that are making more millionaires in Africa right now. Now, the art of making money is not for some particular people. It's for people who take certain steps in their lives that make them to become better. So take these steps of having an avocado farm and become the next millionaire in Africa. And remember, the number of millionaires in Africa is going to increase by 42%. And that is why these videos are coming your way. In Africa today, our mission is to bring valuable information your way. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'm going to meet you in the next video. See you then.